Alrighty trainers, welcome back to my Pokemon Shield playthrough here. I'm Tegan Adventures. And last episode we managed to defeat a Dynamax Pokemon, actually, well, multiple Dynamax Pokemon in all the well for the in you know four gyms around the Gala region. First off we defeated a Dynamax Sarina and Turfield and then like I, don't know, I can't really remember what we defeated in Halbury. And then, like, we defeated the, uh, the Dynamax Pokemon in, in Motorstoke Gym, and now here we are at Stoneside Gym. Having just defeated a Dynamax Dusk Noir here, now we are heading off to our next gym here. Alright, so, uh,. Like I, like I did in the previous few episodes, we are going in chronological order here, in the order, the exact same order that uh, we defeated the gyms in the main story. So, we are now here in Bellamy to defeat, I don't know where we are, oh, I see that Bede has taken over as the gym leader here. <laughs> you lot. Bede, what about the... Next Pokemon. You believe I, the elite fairy gym leader, would have any kind of trouble? That's right, you're a gym leader now. Though I don't know about the elite or whatever. Please. Wow, they didn't play his encounter theme. Ah, there goes his encounter theme. First of all, you're a bit late to be of any use, and second, I didn't need any help. We're an obnoxious gym leader. The next gym is shaping up. Challenge is shaping up to be really something. Oleana tricked and used me. Used me from now on. I only I decide how I live. What? And I do. And I think what I do now is have a battle with you, Tegan. Wow. Wow. B is challenging us to a battle, eh? Don't be in such a hurry. You aced my quiz, so show a little composure. Bean has already quieted three Dynamax Pokemon. He has given you the luxury of some extra time. Bean's life won't be bound by what other people say any longer. Although I certainly influenced a few of his decisions not, to not too long ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah, ex 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 as expected of a wise 88-year-old granny, I guess. Wow. Alright, now don't dilly dally, your only option is to accept. Alright, <laughs> looks like we are, we'll be having a our last rival battle against BD. <laughs> Where there's... Oh my god, we'll see about that, BD. Alright. So he's leading off with a Mawile here, which... Apparently I forgot to heal up from the last time. So, I'm gonna go in with my... I'm gonna swap out Ravenclaw here for Arcanine. To get my intimidate off on the mobile, and then I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it with a super effective fire type move. Mawile is going for a crunch, which doesn't really do much after I've got off my intimidate. I'm gonna hit it now with a heat wave. Nice, mobile is down. Leveling up, leveling up. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll not let Gardegro learn future sight. I think Psych Psychic is a much, much, much better move on a Gardevoir. And speaking of Gardevoir, <laughs> yeah, Bede just summoned in his own Gardevoir. Summoned? Summoned, really? Is that, like, the best way I can... <laughs> the best way I can phrase this? 
Anyway, I'm gonna land a play rough in the God of War, which is gonna be a safe to hit KO here. Future Sight God of War level 61. Already knows Future Sight at level 61, yay. Ooh, low roll. Ooh, got the low roll there. Alright, the next. Come on. Come on, really? Full restore? Alright, I'm gonna get my play rough off here. Ooh, low roll again. Uh, or should I say my first play rough was a high roll? Alright, so. I think he's gonna go for a. Another future sight or a, a moon blast, I think. So I'm gonna swap into into Ravenclaw here. Future sight again. So ah, psychic. I resist that. God of Ravenclaw is pretty tanky, so. Gonna land a Steel Wing on the God of War, which picks up the KO. And erases my defense, nice. Alright, he's gonna send in a Rapidash. Okay, I'm wondering, is it... Ah, it's a Galarian Rapidash. Alright, I was, uh... I was thinking it would be a uh, Cantonian Rapidash for a, for one sec, but fortunately, since it's a Galarian Rapidash, my Steel Wing would uh, would deal lots of damage here. All right, yeah, I mean it's ooh ooh okay okay okay, that's cutting down on my bulk a bit. Galarian Ravidash actually outspeeds my Ravenclaw here. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much since I take it out with Steel Wing anyway. But the Future Sight is gonna land. Oh, the Future Sight has already landed last turn, my bad. Wasn't really keeping track of of turns right there. Anyway, he's gonna send in send in his Hatterene here. Might be the strongest challenge <laughs> champion in Galarian history. I've still got a long way to go here. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I gotta be honest here. I'm not like Wolf Glick or something. I'm not, you know, on the top of the world here. I still have a lot of, a lot of room to go. A lot. A, why? 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 Why am I saying a long, long way to go? If I want to become like the world champion. Alright, I'm gonna land my Steel Wing on the Hatterini. He's gonna land a Mystical Fire, which is really bad. Picks up the KO on Ravenclaw here. Alright, I'm gonna go in with Sub Zero here. Sub Zero should be faster than Hatterene, unless, uh,. You know, it's a speed investor, like super speed invested Hatterene here. I'm gonna go for a rock slide, which manages to pick up the KO on Hatterene. Nice. And I've managed to beat BD here. This must be some mistake. I mean, I'm the one who's the gym leader. But I'm the present champion of the Gala region. <laughs> Thank you for the battle. I can now accept you as the champion. It's painful to admit that I've come to realize a few of my weaknesses. But I'll keep getting stronger. I'll reach the pinnacle of what furry types can do. Nice! And I got BD's rare lead card. Now as the gym leader, I shall do my duty and clean the stadium. Oh, nice! We get Opal's Rally card as well. 
two for the price of one. Even after losing to his right to participate in the gym challenge, BD still found his own way to crash the Champion Cup. Yep. He might be unbearable at times already, at most times, but he's a fierce trainer. He takes things seriously. Yeah. I can see that. B. 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 Not B. BD does have some attitude right there. Truly a formidable rival. Taken. We've got to help all the uh, all the places where these Dynamics Pokemon are running wild. Looks there are looks like there are two stadiums left to check. Oh, okay. So no Dynamax Pokemon are running around here. I guess you know BD already dealt with them earlier. So, in chronological order, next we'll be helping out Melanie in the uh, Churchester. Is it Churchester or Surchester? I don't know how I should pronounce it, but I'm gonna just say Churchester since, you know, that's the way I'm comfortable, or uh, rather, that's the way I have been pronouncing it. Get to save to you three. <laughs> wow. Who do you think we're talking to that we're here to help not to be helped? Yes, that's right. Piers, that's right. Oh, it's you three I was getting into things that... <laughs> Taken here so everyone can relax. Yes. There appears to be no less than four Dynamax Pokemon. I was just going over to... Over a plan to, on how to handle things. With all these strong trainers together, I'm sure you can work something out here. Are you all ready? Let's head to the pitch. Ooh, I haven't, I haven't healed up my squad from that battle with Bede. Or, uh, as I call him, BD. Ooh, Frostlass. Ooh, that, that, that's a pretty difficult Pokemon to deal with, actually. Alright, so, since it's, a, since it's a part ghost type, only, yeah, only Rock Slide will deal at least something on the Frostlass. Ooh, okay. Deals half, Rock Slide deals half, like 50% on Frostlass here, which, yeah, pretty good actually. Frostlass uses a max Mind Storm on my Machamp, which should of course deals a lot of damage even even with the crit wow with a crit it does like what well quite a significant bit actually I mean the crit didn't really matter too much but yeah it's big yikes for my Machamp Psychic ooh okay Fro Frostless can learn Psychic wow Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm honestly pretty surprised that, you know, Frostless can actually learn Psychic. Wow. We're gonna swap right into Arcanine here. Gonna get my Intimidate off and just go for a super effective Heat Wave. Alright, Frostless is pretty fast though. So, of course, it gets to move first with the Shadow Ball. I land a... Heat wave on the Frostlass. And we don't actually get to catch the Frostlass, actually. So, yeah. Phew, is everyone feeling alright? Oh, just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work. Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Yeah, he's got a green right? <laughs> yep. I do not <laughs> shut your guard, Piers. <laughs> well, I, I I love I love Hop's writing here. It really shows off like his you know his his character here. You know, always rushing into things. Taken. It's not much of a reward, but have a copy of my league card. Yeah. I mean, Hop is not just, you know, your straightforward 
friendly rival character. He's he, he's got a lot of depth written into him. Looks like most of the pro the stadiums got this dynamics problem sorted now. Let's keep up the pace, Tegan. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with dynamics trouble left. Let's finish finish this already. All right. Let's actually heal up my Pokemon now. I uh, wait. Is that a glistening spot right there? Oh, expert attacks. All right. We shall head right into the Pokemon Center to heal up our Pokemon. <sighs> All right, this is just one last gym here to save from some uh, crazy rampaging Dynamax Pokemon. And it looks like it's gonna be Hammerlock actually, so uh, yeah, Spike Myth doesn't actually have a power spot so no Dynamax Pokemon or, or Gigantamax Pokemon can run rampant in Spike Myth Gym, Spike Myth Stadium rather. Ah, it looks like Sonia is waiting for us here. Hey Sonia. Oh, Tegan. Some, someone saw those sword and shield weirdos. They said got, they got through the door. But the door's closed with an electric lock. Opening it might take some time. Oh, okay, so those weirdos are in there actually. Oh, look. Hey, Raihan. Nice timing, you lot. The stadium's just about reached its limit. There's simply too many Dynamax Pokemon running wild in there. Seems Wishing Star Power is being used for some evil purpose. So what's caused all this? That's a problem, right? But before we get that sorted, we got to do something about those Dynamax Pokemon. Glad we got you all here now. Though we really, or though we've, though we've already done the bulk of the work. Yeah. We'll take care of this. Fantastic. Looks like we got ourselves to an unbeatable team. Yeah. Especially you, Piers. The way you battled me in the Champion Cup. You really had my Dynamax Pokemon up against the wall. Things might actually go better together this time if we split up our little band. Alright, every... Oh. We are splitting up, B, so everyone's battling one Dynamax Pokemon each. And let's see which Dynamax Pokemon we are facing up. We are up against. Ooh, a Haxorus. That, that's a pretty challenging opponent, not gonna lie. Because of the, the sheer amount of coverage that Haxorus gets. And of course, Mold Breaker. <laughs> so... Just gonna do a little bit of chip damage by going for a U-turn. Getting that nice bit of like, what, 10%? That looks like. 10% chip damage. Gonna go right on into Gardevoir because... I don't, know, I don't think the Haxor was gonna use, what, Iron Tail on a water type. Yes, nice! I predict the max... The max Worm Wind here. Okay, I don't believe Dynamaxing is necessary because, uh, because, you know, anyway, because in the first place, you know, Haxorus doesn't know any status. Oh, crap. So as I was saying, Haxorus doesn't know any status moves, so I don't think that, you know, a Misty Terrain was necessary. But now, looking at, looking at how much damage the, the Max Heal Spike actually did, I'm starting to question whether I should have Dynamaxed or not. But anyway, let's just, you know, finish the job off with my champ here. I'm gonna set up the hail by just Dynamaxing. 
and you're going for a Max Hailstorm based off Ice Punch. Dynamax moves don't actually miss, which is a good thing. I mean, my attacks wouldn't have missed anyway because of no guard. But it's an even better thing that I'm actually using using some Dynamax moves. Alright, so it looks like the Haxorus is going first using Outrage on the Machamp, which does a lot of damage. I don't know if it can take the next hit of Outrage. But anyway, Max Hailstorm actually does a lot of damage on the on the Haxorus, you know, being a super effective damage and all. Alright, so... Okay, if, if Outrage is 3 hits, it's definitely a KO, but if it's if it's just a 2 hit Outrage, I don't know how my Machamp will fare. You know what, I'll, I'll risk it. I'll risk it, let's go for a, another, ooh, Pog, that's pretty Pog. Okay, Haxorus just lives on a little bit of HP right there. Nice, nice. There we go. Hail, the hail damage manages to take it out. You guys are the greatest. You really got me out in a tough spot here. I think a very quick snap to remember this victory by. I'll take care of the Pokemon. What? He didn't even take a picture of us. He just, you know, swiped on his Rotom phone. There we go, we got Raihan's rare lead card. I'm always happy to lend a hand if I can. The great Raihan is here for you anytime. Ha! <laughs> I like that he refers to himself in third person there. Wishing stars are being used for evil. I assumed you already. I, s I assumed you all are already looking into who's behind it, right? Yeah, the weirdos. Those weirdos are responsible. Carry on then. I'll take care of things here at Hammerlock Stadium. Alright, yeah. Do your thing, Raihan. Right, I think that's all the stadiums sorted now. We, we didn't miss any, did we? All that's left to catch is those sword and shield weirdos. If we don't find them quick, they could start this all up again. Wasn't Professor Sup Sonia supposed to be looking into s where those two might be? Oh yeah, they they were right in the... They, they did went through the door. That's your Rotom phone. It's gotta be Sonia. It's me, Sonia. I hit it for the energy plant. Uh, aren't we already in Hammerlock Stadium? We are already at Hammerlock Stadium. So the door to the energy plant should be right down this hall. Ah, let's talk to Sonia here. What? You're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I've almost got it. Huh, that's strange. Oh, what's Yampa doing? What? It just... It it opened? Yampa should have known. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Yampa just zapped the door open, I guess. Alright, let's go. Right into where we had the battle with Chairman Rose. Well, well, well. It seems you have broken the lock and rescued the stadiums from their perils, as expected of the champion. Yes. You followers, give them your praise. <sighs> wow, forcing, forcing the just random civilians to just clap for me? <sighs> wow, he's manipulative. M what? Manipulative? My pronunciation was a bit off there. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? All the lies and fake stories you all believe. We did it in order to expose the true nature of Zashin and Zamazenta. 
Yeah, exactly. Ha. Huh. Zashi and Zamazenta did save all of Gaua. What a fool. We have always revered we have always been revered as the What? I mean I I mean I gotta question that claim. I mean Who are they to say that, you know they are the true heroes of the Gala region, the sword, the wielders of the sword and the shield, or should I say the ones who first made use of you know Zashian and Zamazenta, the literal sword and shield Pokemon? Gala from a t the what? Should be a shame. Wow. He said that the real hero. You said that the real heroes were Pokemon. You just changed, callously changed history. What does that mean? We are. You dare say that uh, our esteem and our esteem. What? Well, I could believe that you two are descendants of a Galarian king. Like the ones who saved the darkest day? Oh yes, the two youths that saved the darkest day. Yeah. It's obvious that the old history was better. To suddenly start creating heroes left and right, it's completely rubbish. The hypothesis was that Zashi and Zamazenta have been protecting the Gala region since ancient times. Ah. So the two heroes were Pokemon, I guess? I don't know. If things really are as you say, then even if we bombard them with Gala particles, they should remain calm and stalwart. I get it. So all those suddenly... Oh, okay, with just your little experiments. You seriously want to make the two Pokemon that saved us all run amok? Capable of... Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So, those weirdos are actually trying to prove that, you know, the two heroes that saved the Darkest Day are actually real people and not just representations of Sashin and Zamazenta. I see, I see. This time I shall show you that the opulent Pokemon I have raised explicitly for this battle. Alright, it's just a one on one single battle, eh? So he's leading with a Surfetched. I mean, you gotta respect the choice of Surfetched, really. I'm gonna go in with a Snipe Shot here. Just muscle our way through the Surfetched with uh, some stat moves. Oh, alright, decent roll here. Ah, Leaf Blade is a high critical hit rate move. Ah, didn't, didn't get the crit there. Huh. Weird champ. <laughs> oh, unfortunately Sub-Zero is dead. So I'm gonna have to go in with Arcanine here just to get in, and get in and intimidate. And I'm hoping Play Rough will take it out. Nice. Phalanx. Ooh, okay, okay. Two fighting type Pokemon in a row. I mean, is Phalanx, is, is, is Phalanx gonna go for no retreat here? Ooh, we get a play rough off. Uh, no, no lowering of the attack stat. Alright, so he is gonna go for no retreat, meaning that, you know, he's gonna give himself an Omni Boost, but he can't switch out. I don't know what the, this uh, Phalanx has up its sleeve, but... Ooh, close combat at plus... plus one. Yeah, there's a, there's, didn't manage to take on my Arcanine there. Arcanine. But I respond with a play rough, which manages to take out the Phalanx. Nice, Arcanine, my champ. Arcanine and my champ are leveling up right there. Cling clang. Ooh, okay. Arcan <laughs> wow, Arcanine does have a lot of coverage for 
the members on his team. Ah, yes, finally, okay, this is the level that, you know, that Sub-Zero actually learns Bolt Beak. And considering that Sub Zero is already pretty fast on its own, I think it can, I think it can just you know slap a choice scarf on it, and you know just make it outspeed and just do lot, lots of shenanigans. All right, so I'm gonna go. Is this a heat proof bronzong? It might be. So that's that's why I'm going in for a crunch. Lower the defense. Defense drop. Def no, no defense drop. Okay. Well, I just realized that extra sensory has a pre pre weird move animation. So oh god, I got the low roll. Oh nice defense drop. I mean, it's barely gonna matter anyway. Defense drop or not, the my next crunch will still take it out and. Pog. Pog, Arcanine, you are a champ. You just like just survived. Just you just survived an extra sensory there with like 8 HP. I mean yeah, I know it's an extra sensory. But still. Just barely lived the extra the uh bronze on there. Oh oh my no will Pokemon. Nice. Shield bolt is down. Just like that. And so, I am defeated. We've driven them back, now I can head off to the roof. Oh, you heard that howl? What was that sound? Oh well, it appears that my older brother was given enough time. Should we head up? Ooh, okay. You just heard that howl there. But anyway, it's been a pretty long episode so far, so I'm just going to leave everyone in suspense and just end the episode right here. This, <sighs> this has been a pretty wild ride here. Next episode, we're going to find out the source of the howl, presumably from the top of the roof. Hmm, I wonder what could be making that howl. But anyway, this has been a pretty pretty dang cool post game so far you know just defeating Dynamax Pokemon all around the Gala region helping out with Sonya's mission and potentially you know finding out who the real heroes of Gala are thousands of years ago who really okay so next next episode we answer the question who really saved Gala from the darkest day and with that that brings us to the end of this episode yeah, nothing really much else to say apart from this has been Taken Adventures, and yeah, you just watched my one of my Pokemon Shield videos. Anyway, yeah, I'll be ending the video right now. Uh, no more stalling. Peace out. See you in the next video.